what's up guys this is Costa Kufis uh, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a day in the life of you know what my routine is uh, we're going to we're gonna do strength and conditioning right now from 9 to 10 then after we're gonna hit the basketball court for some court work from 10 30 to uh, to noon I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, this is what we do every single day so here we go typically leg day for me and Eric, for Eric and I, sorry. And uh, usually we start off with the assault bike, get a little bit of a warm up, and then we do first climber as well, try to get our bodies a little tired before we do our leg day. So we'll start off with the assault bike. We'll do, uh, we'll do Tabatas, 20 hard, 10 seconds slow, 20 hard, 10 seconds slow. Then after that, we'll do Tabatas with uh, first climbers. So what Tabatas is, is basically a form of conditioning where you do, you do short spurts, a little bit of a break in between, you do a short spurt, a little bit of a break in between. So, I mean, it's great for conditioning, great for basketball players like us, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Here's part of the day, leg work, leg work, leg work. Alright guys, we're finished with our lift today. Eric and I did leg day again, as you know. Push it hard. Now we're gonna head to the court. Have my, my trainer Mike Joy talk to you about what we did today so you know what you guys can do possibly on your own. Alright, so today with Coast and Eric we did a uh, wide variety of things. First I like to start them out with a little conditioning after they get loose and get warmed up. So we started with a little Tabata on the assault bike, so we go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we do that eight rounds, so it's about three minutes and 45 seconds. From there, we like to go through some activation. We'll utilize the power plate, which activates the muscle fibers at a faster rate. We'll utilize the power plate in combination with some different plyos. Um, we use the run rocket for the plyos, which gives us a little bit of manual resistance. Um, from there, we implement more conditioning, and we try to do things that translate on the court for them. So we did some sprints with the sleds, working with back pedals. We did some jump squats to shuffles with the med ball, um, and single leg repeat jumps just to build the strength all around in the body there. Um, from there, we work on some different auxiliaries. So we like to work on the hamstrings, make sure they're nice and fresh and loose there. Um, the ab and adductors from ball angles of the hips and then working on the glutes as well. Um, for a finisher, we did a little bit more cardio and we worked on the Versa climbers, did a little circuit there, implemented with cords. All right guys, we're off to the gym. Just got done with our lift. Rolling in the beautiful city of Canton, Ohio. Beautiful day. Have some fun on the highway before we get there. Rip it up a little bit in the GTR. <laughs> Who would you say is like your closest friend that's in the NBA? Or you talk to anybody still? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I get more. I mean, you know, even when you. Uh, president and, uh, and past players always keep in touch. Um, you know, every team I played well, played on, you know, I uh, uh, keep a good relationship with all the players. Uh, you know, every team, like, from you know, Utah to to Sacramento, you always stay in touch. So, you know, guys like you know Gallinari and you know Anthony Tolliver and so forth. Like those guys, you know, you always stay in touch, text each other once in a while. You know, keep track of how they're doing. You know, you want everybody to be healthy because you know the sport. You know, there's always injuries, and uh, you know you want to wish everybody a long, healthy career. And uh, you know that's that's what that's what you do. You know, it's it's kind of a, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a brotherhood. Uh, the NBA is, is like a brotherhood, and uh, you know we look after one another. Um, you know, obviously in competition, you know you're gonna have you know tempers flare, but that's part of the game. That's how you that's how you're competitive, and that's how you want to compete, and that's how you how you become better as a as an athlete.
first like big celebrity that you met when you went into the NBA? So uh, I had a uh, lot of coolest experiences I've ever had. Uh, so when I was in Utah Jazz, we're playing the Lakers in the playoff playoffs, and uh, usually the celebrities would sit right next to the, to the benches and stuff like that. And I remember getting checked in, and uh, <laughs> it was Sylvester Stallone <laughs> and uh, and Jack Nicholson right next to each other. And uh, I mean, he messed up my name really bad, but he was like, Costas, good luck out there. And I'm like, oh my God, Jack Nicholson knows my name. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Cause you know, growing up watching the old Batmans and even Sylvester Stallone, you know, you're watching the Rockies. And uh, I, thought that, I thought that was really cool. So that was like my first like experience with, you know, an A-list celebrity like that. And uh, I, that's something I'll remember the rest of my life. Cause I'm a big time movie guy. I love old school movies as well. And you know, seeing those two guys in person, it's, it was kind of surreal for me. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean. All right, guys, welcome to the basketball court, the J. Babe Stern Center. Hi, gentlemen. Hey, Bob. How are you? Good. What's up, Sean? What's up, Shane? Hey. Alright guys, welcome to the basketball court. Uh, we got my, one of my boys, Sean Servin. Uh, we grew, all grew up together in high school, along with Eric. And uh, you know, today we're going to do some skill work, you know, ball handling, shooting, some post moves. Um, and then uh, ended up you know, with, uh, with a burnout with some reps with shooting. So, hope you all enjoy it. Okay, yeah. These days I get replays, blue faces, how I decorated the loose page. Remember how I used to serve the plate, clean the food tray, working eight to four from Tuesday through the weekdays. Hustle evenings at the stool off Highway 92 in Haywood, always running just a few late. Tucking a new game, back to the crib and I color in new ways. Building a new blade, but the budget tied me down like shoe strings. Connected the loose change, those were the days that made me. She on my line like a beacon. She could have sweated, I was cheating. She, be honest, I was barely breathing. Chasing the life how I wanted it, knowing it's you. It's all that I need. Puzzle that all of the pieces that fit like a glove. You sit it right in front of me. How I don't see it. Hit up the pro to fit. Like thought and I take it easy. Am I young or something? No, am I reaching to be validated? Instead, I get told from the parking space. Why do it feel like I can have a vote full of ominous faces? The art I won't save us. I thought the ground was for the breaking. Look like it's all overrated. Yeah, like it's all overrated. Like it's all overrated to me. Like it's all overrated to me. I can't get no sleep, standing in the weeks Life is bittersweet, I can't really explain it But it's everything I need, at least for now I think That everything might be alright, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I can't get no sleep, standing in the Hey guys, this wraps up today uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, experiencing our workouts with us I want to thank Sean, Trey, and of course Eric you know, Day in the life Day in the life, man <laughs> Day in the life in Canton, Ohio, man So I appreciate all the love Continue, continue to stay positive, continue to grind yourselves, and stay safe. Stay safe, everybody.